Hello everyone. Um, I've got my telescope back from telescope service and in the last video I showed uh, how I centering the secondary mirror under the focuser and I have also collimated my telescope uh, as I did in an earlier video this autumn. Today uh, I'm going to balance the whole telescope uh, on the mount. It's uh, especially critical with the mounts which are direct driven. Um, they have no gears, no belt drives, no nothing. Um, it's servo motors that is coupled directly to the axis of the mount. So, but basically the basic principles are the same. Um, you have a mount, what you want to do is you want the mount to be balanced so it should stay put in every possible directions. So it shouldn't be not heavier or easier uh, in any position basically. Let's head out to the observatory and take a look at how I balance the um, ASA DDM85. Uh, You're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. in my observatory so the telescope is collimated and the reason I want to balance the mount and the telescope rig after I have collimated is that I actually move the mirror when I'm collimating so it moves the center of gravity. The software for the ASA DDM mount series is uh, uh, quite good when it comes to balancing. What you do is you run the, or not me, the software runs the mounts in the, in the axis back and forth. What it does is that it measures the, the current draw uh, in the motors. So you know exactly um, how balanced it is. So right now the software is running the declination axis back and forth. And it's uh, actually measuring uh, the current draw, as you can see on those um, yellow and blue uh, bars. So um, you can't see it now, but in the back here I have a, a small counterweight, uh, which I can move uh, on a Vixen um, rail. So I'll try to just move it a bit here and we shall see how the balance is affected. So that's the wrong way. We'll try the other way. And it has to run uh, a few times uh, back and forth. Oh, it's getting closer. Uh, not perfect, but um, it's getting closer. Um, so, um, this is the declination axis. I will quick show you the right ascension axis uh, as well. And we'll get closer look at how I can adjust it with the counterweights. I can take a look at the uh, computer here next to me. And I can actually see that the bars, uh, they are not aligned. Um, so, I will loosen this and I will move the counterweight inwards a bit and see if that gets better. Got a bit better. I can uh, uh, also uh, enhance the resolution on the bar. Ah, that's a bit too much. Okay, let's see if I can make it a little bit better. There we go, just move the counterweight just one millimeter inwards. And you can see how, um, how precise this is. I just moved the counterweight one millimeter. Um, and that looks, that looks pretty good to me. And when you are finished, you just lock it down. So. 
this is how I balance uh, my mount. Um, quite easy, as you can see, and quite genius uh, measuring the current draw. You can see exactly um, when it's uh, balanced. This was a quick update on uh, how I am balancing my mount and scope setup. Um, I wish the clouds can clear up. Um, the next week uh, it says it will be cloudy and rainy. Uh, classic December month here in Sweden, um, unfortunately. Um, I haven't been able to test um, the telescope out since I got it from Telescope Service, other than a quick few test shot when I was doing my sky model, then the clouds came in. Um, so I haven't been able to test it with some long uh, exposures yet. But the quick images I saw looked uh, uh, better than uh, before it uh, headed down to Germany. This is it for now. Keep safe out there. Bye.